Let's find the areas of some unusual, some more unusual figures. So in this one, um, I was actually giving you a hint. Use triangles A, D, C, and A, B, C. So um, the hint here is to draw a line along like this and to take the bigger rectangle minus the smaller rectangle. This is the smaller rectangle right here, and the bigger rectangle is this one right here. Um, that's not to say that's the only way to do this one. You could, uh, you, you probably could cut this here, and you might be able to get there. I, I'm not sure. Um, in any case, I'm going to do it this way because that, that's what the hint says, and um, I seem to recall that, that that's the way that it tended to work out better. Um, well, let's see. It looks to me like this distance right here is a height, and that that is 16 feet and that this distance right here would then be the base of 33 feet. So that means the area of the big minus the area of the small, that's how I'm going to get this shaded region. The area of the big is 1 half base, that was 33, times height, which I said was 16, because it's 10 plus 6 there. Um, the area of the small triangle is again going to be 1 half times base, 33 is the base, but in this case the height was only 6 inches, or 6 feet. So the, uh, we end up with 0.5 times 33 times 16 minus 0.5 times 33 times 6. I could probably do more uh, steps than that, but I'll just let my calculator do it for me and get 165, and this would be square feet. It doesn't say anything about rounding, so I'm just going to leave it that. Leave it as 165 square feet. Uh, find the area of this guy. Um, it looks like I probably just want to cut this section off. At least that's the part that it feels like it should be cut off to me. Reminds me of a well, whatever. It doesn't matter. Um, so let's see. Uh, I don't know all the dimensions of this smaller rectangle yet, though. I don't know this distance right there. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to say, well, this distance is 9, and the unknown distance, the combination of those two, should sum up to 12. So if I was to call that x, I know x plus 9 equals 12, so x equals 3. So that means this distance right here is a distance of 3. Um, and actually, from that point, it looks like I have enough information to find the area of this small. So the area of the big plus the area of the small. And these are both rectangles, so the areas are really easy. The area of the big rectangle is 12 by 14, and the area of the small is 8 by 3. So we get 12 by 14 plus 8 by 3, which is 192. Uh, everything here is in feet, so this would be 192 square feet. For this shape, uh, I don't know about you, but I'm inclined to cut off this top part and get what looks to be a trapezoid and a triangle on the top. Um, both of these distances look, look to be heights. Uh, you know, I have both of those distances, 3 feet 9 inches and 4 feet 6 inches, so that looks like that'll work to me. Um, but, but rather than dealing with feet and inches like this, I'm going to convert everything to inches just to make my life easier. Uh, 3 feet is 36 inches, so 36 plus 9 is 45 inches. That's 45 inches there. 4 feet 6 inches, the, the other height, this one right here. Uh, 4 times 12 plus 6 gives me 54 inches. 9 foot 6, that's the next conversion I'll do. 9 times 12 plus 6 is 114 inches. And 14 feet, I don't want to leave that as feet, because everything else is in inches. I'll go ahead and call this 168 inches. So now that everything is in inches, this should be fairly straightforward. This will be the area of the triangle plus the area of the trapezoid. So the area of the triangle, uh, it's 1 half base times height. 1 half times 114 times 45. The area of the trapezoid is 1 half times the sum of the bases. So 114 plus 168 times its height, 54. You can see I'm using all sorts of different formulas. If you don't have your formula sheet handy, you should probably be consulting that. We 
we end up with a total area here of 10,179 square inches. Now, if you wanted to convert this back to square feet, just a quick reminder of how to convert things around, um, we would want to say, well, this has, there's what, um, I'm, if I'm going from inches to feet, I know there's 12 inches and one foot, but just doing this conversion one time wouldn't be sufficient. I would have to cancel one of these inches in the denominator with one of those factors of inches. I'd have to do it a second time and say 12, uh, one foot is 12 inches a second time and cancel those out, in which case I would get this number divided by 12 and divided by 12 a second time to get 70.6975. Uh, square feet. So I could do it in square feet if I wanted, or square inches. Uh, I'm kind of more inclined to enter this answer in square inches, but I'm not sure which way, um, you know, if, if you're asked to give it one particular way, you might need to convert it. All right, this last fa uh, last shape here, I'm inclined to see that there is a regular hexagon up top. You can see that all sides, all six sides have a two foot distance and a little rectangle on the bottom. So the area of the hex plus the area of the rect. The area of the hexagon, well, if you recall, this is 2.598 times a squared. Well, a squared, that's the side length squared. I'll call that two. And the area of the rectangle is two times six. So I'll plug this stuff in, 2.598 times 4 plus 12, which gives me 22.392. And you may need to round that if the question asks you to round it. I'll just leave it like that for now, though.